Hey guys, this is Komi Knuckles from Gaming Reviving. I'm here today with a Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC update. The roadmap of free and paid content on DLC 14, otherwise known as the Canton City Vote Pack DLC, is finally complete. The third hero vote character has been confirmed. First was Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, second was Dispo from Universe 11, and the third and final character is GT Vegeta. Vegeta was an obvious choice, it was going to be either him or Brogamo. Now we have all the vote winners. For the clothing vote, we have King Vegeta, Android 17's Ranger outfit, and Yamcha. For the CC mascot vote, we have Icarus the Dragon. For the partner customization vote, we have Goku and Vegeta as Super Saiyan Gods, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Baby Vegeta 2, and Base Form Goku Black. For the artwork vote, we have Goku and Future Gohan doing the father-son Kamehameha, Beerus and Champa with the Supreme Kai of Time, and the Demon Race villains of the Xenoverse series. The Canton City Vote Pack will come with an extra mission story mode. Deborah has come back from his stone prison with an evil plot, and it looks like Fu will recruit our characters to stop Deborah. Like the previous extra story missions, the new DLC characters will play a role as support characters. Now let's get to the additional content of the DLC. We'll be getting 4 new parallel quests, 10 new skills for our custom characters, 4 new costumes and accessories, and 15 new loading screen artworks. There will also be a Legends Patrol Pack DLC that'll let you play the Xenoverse 1 story mode in Xenoverse 2. This was originally exclusive to the Switch port because it didn't have a playable Xenoverse 1, but now it's coming to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And this works out for me because I can't even play Xenoverse 1 on my PS5, like, it just won't let me. The DLC will release later this week with the free update coming on July 6th, and the Canton City Vote Pack and Legends Patrol Pack will release on July 7th. Anyway, that's all I have for today. What are your thoughts on this latest DLC update? Are you excited for all the new Xenoverse 2 content? Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.